Today, we are going to talk about Lincoln Riley, negative recruiting, and the NFL, and all that's coming up after the bump. What do you mean oh. you don't subscribe to my son's YouTube channel? Mama, no! Just snap the damn ball, RJ. What's up, kid folk? It's RJ Young. I am not on a step mill. Consider hitting the like and subscribe button because I upload a video every single day. So it's OU related, college football related, sports related. We have a good time. And today, we're going to talk about Lincoln Riley and negative recruiting. Following the 2019 signing class, my goodness, 22 commits, 11 on each side of the ball, all signed their national letters intent. Five defensive linemen joined this class. Five defensive backs join this class. You have five-star wide receivers. You have a four-star tight end. You have a five-star quarterback. You have the number one junior college running back in America. And Oklahoma isn't even done yet. This is an outstanding class that took years to put together. And I say years because you start recruiting in 2019 and 2017. You'll notice that Oklahoma is sending out 2021 offers in 2018. This is something that takes forever to put together. You don't know how it's going to go. There are guys that you expected to be in the boat that weren't in the boat. There are guys that got into the boat on the day of. It's all really exciting. And it's one of the reasons why I like covering recruiting. It's one of the reasons I like talking to recruits is you get to hear these stories and you get to see this all unfold. And some of the wildest stories in college football center around recruiting. And that's one of the reasons that I think that Lincoln Riley and the negative recruiting stories are such a big deal is as long as this man is at the forefront of offensive football and innovation in football, his name is going to be bandied about in the NFL. And apparently it is a recruiting tool for rival coaches. And we'll get to that in just a second. But for all the folks who thought that Lincoln Riley was surely going to go to the NFL, if not now, then in the near future, my goodness, did you see the way this man reacted to Jeremiah Criddle picking Oklahoma on national television, throwing the horns down for all of us who are into such things, and we are into such things. The man was acting like he just got the G.I. Joe with the Kung Fu grip for Christmas. Fist pumping, running up and down the hallways, high-fiving folks. He was into it because it wasn't a sure thing. And yeah, he was recruiting against Oregon. He was recruiting against others as well. But Jeremiah Criddle, the four-star defensive back, picking him, my goodness, that had to make him feel good, made us all feel good. But that's one of the reasons for which I'm like, yeah, Lincoln Riley's invested. He's, he's here for it, right? It's not just another recruit for him, and none of them are. It's just 22, right? And you want all 22, and you're going to win some, and you're going to lose some. You're going to think you have some won, but until they sign on the dotted line, no. Everybody thought Jerry and Jones was going to join Jamal Morris back there as a free safety, strong safety type. He decided to decommit, go to Mississippi State. Who knows what after that? But Oklahoma ends up with Ty DeArmond and Jeremiah Criddle to go along with him. Nobody had heard from DeArmond for like months. This dude was committed to Arizona State since June. And then a spot opened up and here you are. And if you're not following these kids, you don't know to make that offer. And you don't know that Ty DeArmond would still want to go to Oklahoma. Lincoln Riley surely did. And he did not take it for granted. So that's one. The second one is, look, the NFL just can't offer Lincoln Riley what he has at Oklahoma. Now, I think... A lot of folks think that Oklahoma falls into this vein of, hey, they think more highly of themselves than they ought. Okay, but what blue blood college football program doesn't? But the, here's the thing. In the NFL, three years, four years, that's kind of the average for what you're going to get as a head coach. And you're going to be on a short lease, particularly if you haven't proven anything in the job. John Gruden getting his 10-year deal is not the norm. It is atypical of the NFL, and it was apparently the only thing that he was willing to consider, whereas at Texas A&M, they just handed Jimbo Fisher a 10-year deal, $70 million. I mean, come on now. Now with Oklahoma, Lincoln Riley has a five-year deal where he is tied to the university for $5 million annually, and he gets the winning tradition that goes along with being Oklahoma. Now, he inherited this from Bob, but he also has done his part to keep it going, keep it humming. And short of winning a national championship, you could say that Lincoln Riley has had a better two-year resume than Bob Stoops. Now, we're not gonna because Bob Stoops won a national championship, but perhaps Lincoln could be like Barry and Bob and put together a national championship in his second year. We'll just have to wait and see. But those are the kind of things for which the NFL can't really offer you anything that can compete with OU, especially if you like recruiting. And that is the last thing that I want to hit on here. Lincoln Riley loves being on the recruiting trail. Not a lot of coaches do. Even coaches that are good at it, even coaches that are good at going door to door, selling their university, get tired of it. And it is a young man's game. That's why you don't see a lot of really old recruiting reporters that 
are still covering it full time like that, man. You got to want it. You got to want to go to these high school football games. You got to want to get hung up on by these kids. You have to want to go to voicemail. You have to want to text message them. You have to want to know what's going on with them because it is who you are. It's a part of the game for you. And that's what it is for Lincoln Riley. If you hear some of these college football coaches talk about recruiting, they'll tell you they might even have a separate phone for it. They might send over 100 text messages in a day. They're talking to parents. They're talking to coaches. They're talking to kids. They're trying to stay in touch with everybody they need to in the hopes that they can be the ones to bring that kid to their school. And sometimes it pays off. Sometimes it doesn't. But Lincoln Riley is here for it. And I think that's a part of it that he would miss terribly if he went to the NFL, which is, hey, we evaluate a guy, we sign him to a contract, then he plays football for us. Again, that's what some coaches live for. That's what they want to do. But Lincoln wants to get to know families. He wants to get to know human beings. He wants to show them the family that he has built at Oklahoma. He wants to show them what kind of education they can get at Oklahoma. He wants to mold young men into capable, willing pillars of their communities, adults. He wants to be a part of the process of growing up a young man. That's not something you get to do at the NFL level. You come in there, two men with wives and families that they go home to. These guys aren't necessarily here to be coached or groomed. They're here to be told, you play cover three, you play cover two, go win us a Super Bowl. Whereas at Oklahoma, they're told, hey, once you get here, you're family, because this is how we do this. We hold each other's hands. We help each other through the rough times. I am the steward of this family. I am in charge, and I take that very seriously. It's Lincoln Riley's game, man. And being so into social media, you can already see how that's paying dividends, right? You can see how Lincoln Riley is here for the long haul, and I think we're going to continue to have to deal with kids being told that Lincoln Riley won't be there by the time they graduate. And that is a chip a lot of coaches wanted to play this year, and you could see didn't really work for them because Lincoln Riley was upfront about it. Matter of fact, he had a quip about how, hey, some of these coaches seem to know more about what I'm doing than what I know about what I'm doing. You think that's kind of odd? Yeah. Yeah, it is. We all think it's kind of odd. And I think once he says that to recruits and once he says that to the families, they go, aha, and they chuckle about it too because it seems ridiculous because the one thing that I can say about Lincoln Riley that I think everybody would agree on, he's on the level with everybody. He tells everybody straight up what's going on with his program, straight up what's going on with him. He keeps it 100, he keeps it on the surface, and he squashes these rumors just as soon as they come up. Man is class and integrity like you read about, and I'm so happy that he is the head coach at Oklahoma. All right, that's it for me. Deuces. <laughs>